So I guess I'm just showing you how to install block straps on Roblox, and this is a custom mod for Roblox. This is not a script or an exploit or anything like that, but this allows you to do so many different things such as running multiple accounts, changing your font in-game, increasing your frames per second, changing back to old death sounds, creating custom cursors. There is so much packed into this one tool. So anyways, let's get right into this video. So I will have these two links down in the description below. We have one GitHub link right here that will let us download block strap, and we also have this Microsoft. We, we also have this .NET 6.0 desktop runtime windows x4 installer and this is one of the software that it needs to run uh this is official this is officially by the microsoft website as you can see we are on the microsoft website so first things first is i would install this if you don't already have it installed so let me go to this link on the website and then go ahead and click this download icon and open this up uh click install now another admin thing will pop up it'll say do you want to allow this app to make changes to your vice simply click yes you guys can't see that because my obs doesn't record it but you can simply click yes this is a safe and trusted microsoft tool uh and then we go click close again and if you already have this installed, you don't have to go do this, but this is going to make sure that our block strap can run. So the next thing we're going to do is actually go to the block strap GitHub. Again, linked on my website below. Scroll down until you find installing and then click latest release of block strap and then do block strap v2 5.4.exe. And then you guys, you can obviously just open the exe file up. And as you guys can see, we just opened it up and we got the block strap mod menu. And this actually looks really, really cool. I like it a lot. Now there will be updates on this, I'm assuming. So you might want to come back and check the website every once in a while for new links and whatnot. But yeah. We're going to open up Blockstrap, and I'm going to be showing you all the different things it can do. It is so, so amazing and so simple. So the first one is activity tracking. You can do server, see server location when you join a game, which is actually going to be really helpful. I'm just going to turn that on. Show game activity. This would be on Discord. Allow activity joining, so it allows people to join you, I'm guessing, from Discord, which I don't really like or want that because I'll get spammed with tons of random people. Allow multi-instance launching, and this is going to let you have multiple accounts running at the same time. So there are so many features that come with this tool. It is it's packed full of everything, you know what I'm saying it's it's perfect so the next thing we have is the mods which are there's so much using old death sounds mouse cursors old avatar editor there's there's so many and then you also can choose a custom font that you want to use for roblox so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i think i have one already downloaded on my computer here we go i'm gonna open this one i'm gonna try that disable full screen optimizations you know there's so many tools so i'm gonna just go ahead real quick set a few up that i want and if i find any specific ones that i want to show you guys i'll do that and i'm gonna show you what it actually looks like when it starts running real quick before i go ahead and install this i also want to say if you go to the fast flags tab and you do frame rate limit, this can also increase your FPS. I'm going to just make mine max out at 200. So yeah, I'm going to click install. And there we go. It is installing these custom into Roblox. As you guys can see, it just went ahead and installed. And now it's going to start Roblox, I believe. There we go. Now we're on Roblox. And look at this. It changed our font. Look at this. We got the font that I used for my thumbnails, I believe. I think this is the one. That is pretty cool. And if I go here and type something in, is it in that font? Wow, that's that's really cool. So yeah, all the fonts on here are now changed to my own. Now, this is obviously not going to change them on the website, but that still is a really, really cool feature. So I'm going to go ahead and join a game and see some of the other ones we selected. I honestly don't even remember how many we selected. Okay, so located in Seattle, Washington. Okay, in the United States. So that's the server we just joined. That's a really nice feature. Now, I'm not exactly sure why uh, my avatar didn't load in. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. So I do hear the old death, death sound when people are resetting. Ma mouse cursor, we can change it to different ones. I think we have to reinstall this or save this. Uh, disable desktop app. Yeah, there's actually so many different options in here. But I just wanted to show you a couple of the main ones, such as the font and the server one. I actually really like the server one because I know exactly where I'm going to join. This is just a great re utility tool to use in general. And I seriously advise using this. It's super awesome awesome. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.